Hey guys, this is John. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate one of the primary features of Chessable, which is the ability to go in and learn a chess opening using our site. And to do this, I'm going to show you a snippet of a repertoire that I've spent the last couple months creating on the Scandinavian defense, of course. But the nice thing about Chessable is that any user can go on and upload a repertoire using our one-click PGN import. So if you have, say, uh, a repertoire of 10 lines that you want to learn, you can upload it and Chessable will help you learn it. Also, let's say you have a buddy who's a Chessable user. You can go on and if they've made their repertoire publicly available, you can go in and learn from what they've uploaded. So this particular repertoire is very detailed. As you can see, it's 211 variations. I set out to create basically a comprehensive repertoire for black after E4 and D5. So it's a lot to take in, but Chessable helps you do that. So before we go into the repertoire, I wanted to show you this comment system we have down here. This is a nice little feature. So users can leave feedback uh, about what they liked about the repertoire, where improvements could be made, and the repertoire author will see that. Uh, also, you could ask questions about why certain recommendations were made. Within the variations in the repertoire, there's also this functionality. So if you're studying the lines and you come across a particular move that you didn't understand why the author recommended, you could just leave them a note and they could answer it. So let's go into the repertoire itself now. So we're gonna browse variations. And this is the way I have it laid out. So for this repertoire, there's eight different levels that I created to make it easier for the user to digest. And this one, chapter six, level six, is the one I've been working on. Even though I wrote this repertoire, I haven't been studying it all that much lately because I just uploaded it to Chessable recently. And as a result, you can see that my co-founder, David, actually has more points for this repertoire than I do. You gain points by correctly learning lines, and he is just rocketing up the leaderboard, and he has 4,000 more points than I do. So that means I got to get to studying and try to catch up to him. So let's go into the central destroyer chapter, which is all lines after D4 and my recommended move E5, and we're going to learn some variations. So these are all the lines in this particular section. And let's go down to roughly where I left off here. As you can see, I've already studied these two lines, so they're completed. So let's do this one. It's a seven move line. Chessable tells us what we'll be learning here. So let's start. And what's nice is Chessable combines active and passive learning. So not only is it gonna show you the moves that are recommended by the author, but it's also going to give you a chance to play those moves. So we know this is a Scandinavian repertoire. It's showing us that after E4, the recommended move is D5. So once we appreciate that, we can click next and we get a chance to play D5 ourselves. So let's do it. D5. White takes the pawn and we're going to take back with our queen. Knight F6 is another move, but if you watch my videos, you know that queen takes D5 is the move that I inevitably play. So let's take with the queen. And we're gaining points as we do it. More correct points means we've learned more and we're also moving up that little leaderboard we have set up. Now, this might be the first interesting moment for those of you who have only a passing knowledge of the Scandinavian, let's say. So after d4 on move three, I'm recommending this move e5. d4 isn't incredibly common, but it is something that black should know how to react to. And here I explain why E5 is the recommendation. So you can read this, you can see the move being played. I also mentioned that Knight C6 on move three here is playable as well. And once we think we've absorbed this knowledge, we can hit next and we have a chance to play it ourselves. So there you go, E5. Now here, after D takes E5, my recommended move is Queen takes D1. And you can read this right here. Instead of taking the pawn back, we're actually trading queens. And again, this might be a surprising thing. If there were no comments for this, you might be a little confused why black would be trading queens rather than regaining the pawn. But the comments really help to clarify that. So let's hit next here. We're stranding white's king in the center per that last comment by trading queens. And now after white takes back, I recommend knight c6, developing and attacking that pawn on e5. So let's hit next. Knight c6. Here white's playing bishop f4, trying to defend the pawn on e5. And the recommendation is bishop c5. 
developing a piece, also attacking that f2 pawn. So let's try that. Bishop c5. White drops back with the bishop. As you can see, that guards the pawn on f2. And now knight ge7 is the move. So here we go, knight ge7, developing a piece. Now we've seen the line in its entirety. And we know that because it's sent us back to the beginning here. And we have a chance to play out the line from start to finish. So let's see if we can do that. So d5 takes, we're taking back. White plays that d4 move. I remember that e5 is the way to go after this. Now d takes e5. So let's say here I make a mistake. The move that I should play is queen takes d1 check. But let's say instead I forget that and I'm just like, okay, I'll take back the pawn. Queen takes e5. Well, Chessable prompts you and says, you got that move wrong. That was not the right move. And you should have played this move, queen takes d1. That was the recommended book move. And we can say, oh yeah, I should have played queen takes d1. Let's hit next. And the line keeps on going. So after king takes d1, we'll see if we can recall from here. I do recall that knight c6 is the best move, attacking this pawn. And after the pawn is defended by the bishop, I believe that bishop c5 is the way to go, hitting f2. And I'm remembering this as well. After bishop g3, I think I'm supposed to develop this knight, knight ge7, so let's play that. Okay, so now we have a chance to do it once again. We got that one move wrong, and Chessable will prompt us when we get to that moment to make sure that we understand our mistake. So let's play this through. d5, queen takes, e5. Now here, this is the move that we got wrong last time. So we played queen takes e5, but we should have played queen takes d1. So Chessable is telling us queen takes d1 is the right move, really reinforcing where we went wrong and how to fix that. So we can hit next, and let's play that. Now after the trade, we can go knight c6, bishop c5. I'm in a groove now. Knight g e7. All right, and there we go. We have finished this line. Chessable is now satisfied that we've learned it, and it will allow us to save our progress. Uh, we can go back and learn this line later, review it, and we can do this for the entirety of the repertoire, all 211 of those lines. So studying a repertoire of this size, you see, is really for an ambitious player. But as I mentioned, there's simpler repertoires, and if you want this level of detail, Chessable offers that to you. But there's really something for everyone on this site. I could see chessable being used by complete amateurs all the way up through grandmaster level. So this was just a quick tutorial of how to use the, the learn function of chessable. And I'll be publishing more videos in the future showing other aspects of the site. For now, I hope you guys like this. And if you haven't signed up already on our email list, you can go to chessable.com and do so. Thank you to those who have already signed up. And I'll be back again soon, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.